Hi, I'm Chuck Surak, and I'm the new owner of Instrum Helicopters. Acquired the company about eight weeks ago. Fifteen years ago, I started on an Instrum 280, and before I had my helicopter license, I ordered a brand new 480 turbine helicopter. So I've just always had a love in my heart for the Instrum brand and the Instrum quality. It's one of the greatest helicopters in the world. My history is a little varied, and but I started over 42 years ago uh, as a musician. I was on the road, and I came home and started a recording studio. And with that recording studio, I soon opened up a retail business helping my friends with their music equipment. And those were friends like Stevie Wonder and Kenny Rogers and Dolly Parton. And that music business grew and grew and grew up until today where we have about uh, 2,700 employees. We have 9 million customers around the world. And uh, just last year, I sold the majority of my company, which allowed me to do some other interesting things like purchasing Instrum. I grew up with aviation in my family. My dad was a private pilot. He flew in Aronka Chief for many years, and I learned how to siphon gas out of a 55-gallon drum. We lived in a, a little grass strip or lived off a grass strip. And uh, I really wasn't interested in the airplane sort of thing. But I would, turned age 50, and I saw a friend fly in in an Instrum 480B to a, to a little uh, air show. And I said, how cool is this? And uh, he said, well, you ought to do it. And I said, oh, no, I'm too old to to fly helicopters. And he said, no, no, I have a friend in his 60s that got his license. And uh, next thing you know, I'm begging my wife to, to take flying lessons. And that Christmas, I got a uh, how to fly helicopter book and an FAA log book. And 15 years later, you know, I have over 2,000 hours. I've flown in a variety of aircraft. And uh, just I just love the, the rotor. I love the helicopter. So I flew that 480B for a couple years, put several hundred hours on it, and then I was looking for something a little bit more powerful, a little bit more capable, and I bought what then was a Eurocopter EC-130. Today it's the Airbus H-130, and I used that as my personal aircraft for several years. And through the process, and with aviation kind of growing and bubbling in my blood, uh, I soon bought a 135 charter operation, single helicopter, and we've expanded it through the years and added more people to it, and. Today, you know, we have uh, three Airbus H-130s, we have an A-Star, we have two Leonardo 109s, and we're a VIP helicopter charter business. And then along the way, I also bought a flight school, and that flight school has a bunch of different airplanes, and uh, we've turned it also into a 135 charter operation. So we have a Vision Jet, and we have a couple Pilatuses, and several SR-20s, and 22s, and Diamond DA-20s, and 40s, and we teach people how to fly airplanes, and then a few years ago, we also bought some helicopters. And we started with Instrum helicopters, and when they were struggling for a few years, we changed to gimbals. And so we've been flying gimbals for the last couple of years. And we're teaching students how to fly airplanes and helicopters and just a really multifaceted aviation business. I do use my helicopter for work and for pleasure, and then it's part of our 135 helicopter uh, VIP operation that we have. And so we fly those helicopters all over the Midwest. We're based in Fort Wayne, Indiana but we'll fly to Indianapolis, we'll fly to Chicago, Detroit, hauling VIPs, business executives. Uh, this weekend we're doing weddings and all kinds of things in the helicopter. Well, I've always been friends with the folks at Enstrom and gone to lots of HAI parties and that sort of thing. And, and I know for the last several years they've been struggling financially and they've been owned by the Chinese. And uh, earlier this year I heard they had filed bankruptcy. And uh, the person that had stepped up with the bankruptcy court approached me about helping finance it. And I said I wasn't really interested in being a partner with somebody, but if his portion fell through, I would step up and acquire the company. And frankly, that's exactly what happened uh, back in late April. And I was able to acquire the company out of bankruptcy and, and start to bring us back to life. I think the Instrum helicopter is a great, great helicopter. It's one of the safest in the world. It's got a high inertia rotor. It's really, really easy to fly. It's very forgiving. Auto rotations are just so, so much smoother than some of the other helicopters. And I knew based on its history and track record that it's a great company. And I love that it's an American company on American soil with American people working at it. And I just saw a great opportunity to save the jobs in Northern Michigan and bring the helicopter back to life. It deserves to, to be prominent in the helicopter world. Well, the next step in turning things around is getting back in business, which we're uh, quickly doing. We've got about 70 employees in our factory right now. We're building parts, which is the first thing we need to do to satisfy previous customer orders. We've got a lot of back orders. And then we'll use those parts to build new helicopters. And so I've challenged the company by the end of the year to build two helicopters, which is all they've built in the last couple of years. So we'll be right up to par where we've been. And then we have a goal next year to build 24 new helicopters. 
there's a little bit of a problem with supply chain and getting some parts and all of that, but we're going to get there, whether it's 24 or 20 or, you know, but we want to move forward and start building more helicopters. We also like to modernize it. So by HAI next spring, uh, we hope to have a little bit more modern 480 there with maybe a glass panel and some other things. You know, Instrum is just absolutely full of great people, which is why I wanted to acquire the company. We have some amazing engineers and production folks. There's been a lot of discussion already. Could we replace the engine with an electric motor and that sort of thing, which might make a more uh, efficient helicopter to fly for flight schools and, and, and quieter environments, so on and so forth. You know, right now we're really focused on building our own helicopters and servicing our previous customers. Will we do more in the future? It's, it's too early to tell. Right now we just want to get back into full production. You know, we have customers all over the world. You know, we've sold about 1,100 helicopters through the years and uh, we're in business. That's what I would say. We're back in business and if you need to order parts or upgrades and that sort of thing, just call our factory in Menominee, Michigan and we'll get those parts on the way to you. I have a good friend who uh, is, used to be an Instrum dealer, and I'm sure he'll be one again. Uh, he's the airport manager in Goshen, Indiana, and for the last six years, we've done an air show for helicopters, and we call it Rotors and Ribs. And uh, we bring lots and lots of friends in in helicopters and do some training and, and usually have a speaker and just a great air show. And we just completed a couple weeks ago our most recent one. The benefits of doing the Rotors and Ribs show is sharing the love of helicopters with other owners and, and, and pilots, but also folks that maybe don't know about helicopters and what they can do. And so we do a variety of things at our show from showing big helicopters picking up things to EMS helicopters and uh, all kinds of things that helicopters can do that's pretty hard to do otherwise.